I, I did mention as we begin to talk about the creation of invisibility, something kind of strange, which was being reminded about comics that your friends have owned. We're talking about Dime Press. Mm -hmm. And I happen to be wearing a Infinity Gauntlet classic story, issue number one. And I know there's a story here that you guys have mentioned, but the comic fan has to hear it. Uh, so, so Jeff feeling bad about losing out on the opportunity to get 200 copies of Dime Press for, I have something very, very similar. Now, it's probably less painful for Jeff because if you guys were paying attention to the podcast 65 that Tom and I did, we talked about meeting and I also talked about the first time I met the Golden Age Guru, bought the big collection from your storage unit. In that storage unit, there was half a long box, at least 150 copies of Infinity Gauntlet number one that I ended up basically giving away in grab bags on eBay when I first started my eBay business. So pretty much like 25 cents a copy. And then a few years after that, the movie came out, the Avengers movie, with Thanos in it, and then they basically did the whole Infinity Gauntlet thing. So Jeff basically gave me, I don't know, $3,000 worth of Infinity Gauntlet comics back in the day that I gave away for pennies on the dollar. So both got screwed there. Sorry, dude. I can't believe you did that. I gave that to you so that you can start your business, okay, knowing that you would just maximize every what dollar guy. there every and single you bit. went and just gave them away i did well that's why you kept all of the secret wars number eights yes so. and wolverine ones <laughs> and tens <laughs> and by the way i i never told you this in this collection had bound volumes okay okay bound volume of x-men one through a hundred including the two giant size all put in in the correct story arc oh, in five volumes that's gorgeous. i still have that Really? I've, I've yeah. seen it. You kept it. It's my, part of the guru stash. Yeah, my goal was to read that to my kids as a book, which I did not do. Another goal that not met by the guru. But I still have it. I love it. It's the only X-Men one I have. Well, you um, left me 20 copies of Killing Joke number one first print, oh. and I made a hell of a lot of money off How of it. Did I, so we did okay. How did I do that? <laughs> I have no that. idea. Comic fam, hit the like, slap, the <laughs> subscribe button. Where are you getting comic book themed content like this anywhere? Yeah. Hot damn. This book has hit 20 bucks. Let off the gas, Colin Fan, unless you're really gunning for some Jack for the goodness. Seventy-five dollar cover price on this. Don't overbid. But if somebody wants it, we got it. 